Okay, so in this tutorial, we are going to look at how to add Angular material to our Ionic apps. Yeah, this is by request. Um, so, uh, first of all, we need to install a few things. For example, we need to install Angular material, Angular CDK, and Angular animations in our Ionic project. So we install uh, the three of them um, all at once. npm install uh, at angular slash material. That's where the material, angular material is located. We install the uh, CDK and also we install the animations. Both the CDK and animations uh, library are required by the material library. Then we save it into our package.json uh, file. All right, so now that we've done that, we have to import the uh, animations and add it to our uh, imports in the root, um, in the root module. So we open the root module Upload mm, module and then import the animations uh, module from the platform browser uh, library. That is at Angular slash platform uh, browser. Then we import yeah, the animations. Then we import the animation module and add it to the uh, imports in our module, the root module. So now we can start doing some other configurations. So we go into our package.json and add a configuration to it where we want to uh, pass a copy configuration and a copy configuration so that some copying of files will be done during the build process yeah so uh, ionic conf sorry ionic copy when we pass the file that will contain the copy information, the, 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 the stuff to copy, which will be located in copy.config.js file. Well, let's put it inside a config uh, directory. So let's create the directory config, and inside it, let's create the copy.config uh, file. Yes. Now let's uh, check something in the node modules. Inside the node modules in the Ionic uh, directory, we see the app script contains some configurations. Uh, we have the copy.config.js, which is used by the Ionic build process. So we're going to copy it, paste it into our ours, and then add additional one to it, which is going to copy a particular uh, uh, Angular Material theme, Angular Material theme. Uh, so copy, re rename the uh, name to copy material theme. So we're going to provide the source URL or the path to where the CSS file is located, which is inside Angular Material uh, pre-built themes. We are going to use uh, one of the pre-built themes. Uh, so let's put the path material, node modules, material, angular material. Yeah, then pre-built themes. Let's use the indigo. Uh, indigo pink uh, theme 
dot CSS. Now we want the destination to be the uh, assets uh, folder. So we change it to www slash assets here. All right. Now that we are done, let's go into our index.html file and include or link to the indigo pink theme that we just uh, indicated that should be copied. So assets, then dash the indigo pink.css uh, file. After we, we are done, we will go and get some um, we're going to get some some but, uh, buttons or uh, some components and then put them in our uh, home page. But we have to import their modules first. We have to import their modules so that we can uh, work with, with them. So that's it. let's import the material button module and add it to our um, app module, the root one, and then add it to our imports so we can access uh, the element. Let's let's add another one. Um, let's add the select. Uh, let's add the select to select. Okay, yep, that is it. Let's so let's add both to our imports. Yeah. All right. Now we can remove the code in the uh, home page and then put the uh, HTML code for the Angular material into it so let's add the one for select first and then we will then add that of the button later okay let's let's uh, use the one here all right yeah let's use this one Okay, let's put it inside and let's go back and uh, use the buttons one. Okay, so let's include the buttons. All right, um, that is it. Um, I think we should do something simple instead of the select material select. So let's remove that and let's go back and use the chips version. So let's let's copy the code for the chips material chips and let's add that instead. So this one also likewise to use it we have to import the module so let's first add the html code then we will go and add the uh, module to our root module so we have to remove the select that we added earlier yep so material chips module All right, that is it. Let's add it to our import. All right, so now let's save it in our browser and see whether it works. So that is it. And here we go. We have Angular 
material working in ionic app well let's do some small changes let's turn let, let's switch on the dark theme in ionic uh, project and see how it looks like uh, so let's go into our variables inside the theme directory and let's change the ionic theme default to ionic theme dark and you realize that uh, the buttons with the black text are now white because you're using the dark theme so it means with this particular theme material theme it will be best to use the default one so that is it that's how to add angular material to ionic project.